what we have here is the Luminoc lighted knock for your uh, crossbow crossbow bolt. That's a little bit of a tongue twister there. Um, it goes on the end of a crossbow uh, bolt. They don't call these arrows. They actually call them bolts. Um, these are really hard to get right now. It's uh, middle of coronavirus uh, pandemic 2020. And uh, I found these online. I will try to put a link in the description below. They're not cheap. Uh, they come in a three pack. And they are roughly, roughly about $30. So they're about $10 a piece. But I've hunted without them. I've hunted with them. And I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend hunting with them. So they come in different colors. Um, this one's obviously orange. Uh, I've had green before. Uh, I believe I've had red before. Um, but th there's even a yellow. I, I, is, but they're, they're, <laughs> they're really worth their money. These do come with a replaceable battery. Um, I don't know what the new improved contacts um, are all about, but like I said, I've never had an issue with these ever. Um, when you flip open the package, like so, I love the way they say this right here at the top. It says, stuff you must know, please read. So it's really important, really, really important that you align the knock correctly. Okay, so you see on all arrows, as you can see, whoops, flipped up in the air there are the veins so there's always two of one color one of the other color the odd color out so in this case on this one the white as you can see here it will tell you make sure that the screw the screw the string groove is horizontal to the off color vein that's very very important um, the other piece of this is as you can see here um, they recommend you do not ever twist them um, so they, they recommend you slide them in. Um, you can use pliers if you need to. Um, uh, another trick is you can wrap it with a towel or with a um, paper towel. If you're gonna grip it with something uh, so you don't scuff it up. Um, but anyway, it's supposed to, as it says here, if you can read that easily, insert into the back of the, of the bolt. Um, you can, when you put it in, it does say most likely it will, that it will light up and turn on. Um, and then it says you can squeeze it and rock it back and forth with your index finger and thumb. Uh, and it says, as you push out with your thumb, the light should go out. Um, the batteries on here are replaceable. Um, there are the instructions. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Um, point of this video is a little bit about how to insert them. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about how to take out um, the old knock the non-lighted one i might do that in a separate video just check out the channel um but again i highly recommend you use these when you are harvesting an animal okay so this is a real quick video i'm going to show you how to remove a um knock out of a cross bolt cross bow bolt as you can see um these are the what i call the classic um cross bolt i can't say it cross bow bolt um this is what's called the crescent uh end of uh, of a crossbow um bolt um this is straight from the factory it's a carbon arrow as you can see some of these can be really difficult to get out um i do recommend if you need to uh grab some some pliers um you can also take a small piece of um like a uh, paper towel and wrap it around this before you pull it out. I'll show you what to do. It's not hard, but some of these have a lot of adhesive and glue mixed in and they can be really difficult to pull out. So um, you just wanna be careful that you don't grab the shaft. Don't You don't want any carbon getting uh, messed up. Um, these are fine tuned pieces of equipment that you don't wanna screw up, especially if you're gonna use this to harvest an animal. So what I do is I kind of wrap at the end like this with a paper towel and then I will take my pliers like so and then I will just slowly start to move this back and forth like this and if this is fixed so I don't recommend you put it in a vise or anything like that but this will slowly start to rock back and forth you can see it start to start to come out a little bit and then you can take your finger 
hand. What? Oops, sorry about that. The camera moved. And sorry, this is. Yes, there you go. And it'll just slide right out like that. So that's what it looks like. You can see there's on this one there's some little grooves and some glue that hold it in. Um, there's not a lot on this one. And then you can see on the end here, it's perfectly uh, unscathed and ready to go. I'm going to put the uh, Luma knock in these and light them up and uh, hope that helps.